Hey, hey, divas, it is your girl, Miss Brandy1525, and I am coming at y'all again today. I am on a roll. Yes, I am on a roll. <laughs> I am coming at y'all again today to, or well, not again today, but again with another video to show y'all how I now moisturize and seal my hair. I have not done a moisturizing and sealing video in a long time, and since I was in the midst of doing my hair, I thought I would show y'all how I moisturize and seal. Uh, I am doing this on dry hair, um, moisturizing on an old twist out. Uh, my twist out was about four days old, and it was looking like this. And it was fly, but it needed some love. So I'm going to show you how I moisturize and seal on my dry hair to bring life back to my situation. <laughs> and I lock in the moisture and this allows me to get four day hair when I moisturize and seal in this fashion. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with water and my Victoria's Secret sprayer bottle I love these little bottles because they spray the perfect amount of water your hair does not get over wet uh, like if you was just using a spray bottle from like the dollar store or whatever so I really like these so the first thing I do is I spray the ends the ends is the most precious part of the hair because that's where we see our length at by the ends if you're not moisturizing the ends and you're breaking off the ends then no matter how much your hair is growing you will never see your length because you've broken it off from the ends and you just out of luck so okay once i do that i just basically start to separate my hair and do some finger detangling to remove shed hair that I have built up for the past four days. So I'm raking, you know, like making little separations and raking my hair before I ever touch it with a comb or anything. And also that gives the water time enough to penetrate my hair. And since I have been doing uh, my little baking soda and conditioner method, my hair is taking in water much better. As you can see, the hair is puffing up and it is shrinking. So that's how you know that my hair is actually absorbing the water. And there I have removed the shed hairs. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yes, I have removed the shed hair. Now. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my leave-in slash styler, my absolute favorite. Y'all know this is the love of my life. This is the Shea Moisture uh, Raw Shea Butter Restorative Conditioner that I use as my everything. And I am going to use that much. Yes, I am very generous with my products. <laughs> I'm generous. Okay, then I'm going to put that on, focusing on the ends, making sure that I get the ends of that hair. And always smoothing. That's like such a huge thing with me, y'all. I'm forever smoothing. Okay. When the hair is looking like that and the curls are starting to clump, <laughs> that's when you know that you definitely headed in the right direction. That's when you know that your hair is receiving and absorbing and doing all that it's supposed to do and the product is doing what it's supposed to do and it's all good, okay? Now, 
after I let that sit for a minute, because while I'm doing all the smoothing and talking going on, I'm actually letting that product have time to absorb in right along with the water. Okay, then I'm going to seal that in. I am using just plain old shea butter. I have not whipped it, churned it, mixed it with anything or any of that. It is just plain old shea butter straight from the beauty supply store in the bucket. Okay. <laughs> now, I'm going to take my shea butter about that much. Yes, I'm generous with the shea butter as well. Uh, Y'all know I don't mind greasy hair. Uh, but this is not going to end up greasy either. It's not because my hair is going to absorb it. Uh, and I emulsify that in my hands. There we go. Shiny hands. And then I just start to apply it. Smoothing. Smoothing it down my hair strands. Making sure I'm getting the hair around my edges. If you style your hair as much as I do, it's really easy to break the edges off. So you want to make sure that while you're moisturizing and sealing, you're getting those edges really, really well. Yes, honey. That is some well moisturizing sealed hair. Okay. Now that I've done all of that, I can go in with my brush, starting from the ends, and brush through and make sure that there are no, you know, shed hairs left. No tangles, no knots, no nothing. And as you can see, there is not. And that hair is properly moisturized and sealed. And that is how I do it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how I do it. Please make sure to watch the video that is going to follow this video and that video is uh, how I twist my hair to get awesome definition. Uh, I get a lot of comments, uh, a lot of compliments telling me, you know, all your twist outs is always excellent. How do you achieve such perfect twist outs, blah, 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 blah. Well, this is how I do it. This is how I moisturize and seal and in the next video you'll see how I uh, twist to get uh, ultimate definition. So, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate your time. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section. Um, mwah, be beautiful, divas. <laughs>